In democracy, the ruler and the rule, the state and the people are equal before the rule of law. The sentence is in essence, the holy grail of democracy, and over the weekend, Israel lived up to this idea. Sarah Netanyahu, the wife of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, pleaded guilty in a corruption case. She was accused of using state funds to order food. She has been convicted. Netanyahu was convicted today after pleading guilty in a criminal offense using 175,000 shekels of public money for private expenses. In all this doing happened in the Prime Minister's house. Uh, this result was achieved through a plea bargain in which she admits and pays a fine of 55,000 shekels. The significance of the Sarah Netanyahu will not spend time in jail. She will pay the state $12,490 in reimbursement and $2,775 in fine. Here's the case. She fraudulently obtained more than $1 lakh dollars from the state. And this money she spent on catering from expensive restaurants between 2010 and 2030. Now, this is not allowed in Israeli law because the state provides an in-house cook. And this is not the first time that Sarah Netanyahu is in the headlines for the wrong reasons. The 60-year-old child psychologist has been a controversial presence in Benjamin Netanyahu's political career. In the past, she's been accused of mistreatment of employees. Some Israeli newspapers have dubbed her as Israel's Marie Antoinette. Two years ago, she was ordered to pay thousands of dollars in fine for bullying her staff. She also faces a lawsuit for treating employees like slaves. And she's not just facing cases of misuse of public funds, but also misuse of employees at her disposal. And she does not take criticism very well. She does not take to it kindly. An audio recording emerged last year in which she was scolding a publicist over a gossip column. The problem was this. Her BA and MA degrees were not highlighted in that column, and hence she was upset. By the way, it's not just wife uh, Sarah Netanyahu, the husband and prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, is also embroiled in legal troubles of his own. There are three corruption cases against him, and these cases began and were filed and investigated while he was still the prime minister. He is due to appear at a pre-trial hearing in October. Benjamin Netanyahu faces 10 years in jail if convicted of bribery and a three-year term if convicted for breach of trust and fraud. He has so far denied all the allegations. His political career is at a crossroads, a crossroads of sorts. In the elections in April, Netanyahu's Likud party won 65 seats in a house of 120. He could not form a coalition government. As such, the situation looks like this at, at the moment. Elections are on in September. And the hearings on the graft cases begin in October. All said and done, Sarah Netanyahu's conviction provides a lot of hope. She's one of the most powerful people in Israel, the prime minister's wife. No one is above the law in a democracy and in the fight against corruption.